These are the 50 best Quest 3 games that you have to play. So let's dive right into it. With the first one being Assassin's Creed Nexus. It is not that often that a AAA game studio brings a long established franchise into virtual reality. But with Assassin's Creed Nexus, we got just that. Giving you even more stories about Ezio, Cassandra, as well as Connor in the form of brand new memories, making it a must play for any big fans of the console title. And number two is The Walking Dead Saint and Sinners. This is the must play game if you own a Quest 3 VR headset, setting the bar to an insane level for any VR zombie games that are out there. Because with its ridiculous physics based combat that lets you wrestle with hordes of undead, it is its big campaign mode that truly feels like a full-blown game and where many other titles are often just short experiences this is pretty much the complete opposite and thanks to that it is one of the deepest native VR games that are available on the market number three is Red Matter 2. While some games look absolutely amazing in VR, Red Matter 2 took this to a whole nother level. With its gorgeous environments and absolute jaw-dropping visuals, it is a sci-fi adventure that really pushes the boundaries of what your VR headset is capable of. And where the gameplay is fairly slow, focused on environmental puzzles and occasional combat, you might sometimes find yourself stuck with the not always intuitive solutions for it. But where it gets some minus points in gameplay, it definitely makes up for it in the visual department. Number 4 Population 1 If you love a battle royale shooter, then Population 1 is the perfect game for you. And best part being that it is completely free to play. Although this wasn't the case in the past, the makers behind it made some radical changes. And with its unique aspects where you can climb basically anything on the map, as well as flying across it by spreading out your arms, it is clear to see why this game is loved by so many people. But when you are completely new to VR, it might be a bit too intense to your liking, since often new users are experiencing motion sickness that luckily does get better over time. It's just a small thing to keep in mind. And number five is Iron Man VR. If you always wanted to feel how it would be like to become Iron Man in real life, then this is it. From controlling the tech suit to blasting off enemies, this game has it all. And while it got released on almost any VR headset you can think of, it is definitely worth trying it out on your Meta Quest 3. And to number six, we have Five Nights at Freddy's. If VR horror games are more your cup of tea, then you probably already know Five Nights at Freddy's. But in virtual reality, it becomes a lot more scary. With your main goal is to survive through the nights by changing doors and checking webcams and keeping your nerve while these crazy robots are closing in on you. So if you have the stomach for it, then definitely check it out. But for a more calmer experience, we have number seven named Demio. This is for those Dungeons and Dragons lovers out there. Because in Demio, you will be combining card games together with dice rolling, as well as bringing these great dungeons alive right in front of your eyes. And with loads of expansions and even a mixed reality mode. This is a great game to play with friends and family, especially if you want to have a more relaxed experience. Number 8 is Broken Edge. Talk about a unique art style and 1v1 sword dueling and you get the game Broken Edge. Here, you will have to skillfully position yourself and your sword to outplay your opponents. But while it might be easy to learn, it is super hard to master. And with different classes that you can choose out of, like the knight, barbarian, or a samurai, each of them will also have their own unique abilities and mechanics to try and hit your opponent making this highly recommended for anybody who likes skillful dueling or putting their own sword skills to the test. And on number 9, we have Blast On. And just like the previous one, this is a 1v1 multiplayer. But instead of swords, you will have to dodge and shoot bullets as fast as you can. With another great plus is that this game also is now completely free to play, where it used to be a paid game beforehand. So you can now rain down on your opponents and check your reflexes without spending a single cent. And number 10, is Pavlov Shag. This is the Quest version of the original Pavlov VR game for PC VR. But don't think it is a downgrade, because it is one of the best shooters that VR has to offer, since most people compare it as the Counter-Strike of virtual reality, thanks to its many different game modes, but also its highly skilled players. Because once you queue up with others, you will notice how the level goes to absolute impossible. But no less would be complete, with number 11 being VR Chat. This is the game that got so many people into virtual reality that it might make it one of the most important VR games to ever 
be released. And if you somehow have missed it, in here, you can create your own worlds and avatars and visit the creations of other people. But thanks to the many platforms that VRChat has been released on, the user base is so massive that there is a VR world for almost anything you can imagine. And making it completely free of charge, it gives the users almost no reason to not try this one out. And on number 12, we have Flight 74. This flight simulator lets you take up into the sky into a thrilling adventure, since you will soon find yourself stuck after an engine failure and where you will now will have to fly missions for a cartel that isn't always as safe as you think. And even when you think everything is going all right, don't forget that the bird can just fly into your window. But what adds a lot of extra to this immersion is also the hand tracking that the Quest 3 is capable of. And while it hasn't got its full release on the Quest Store just yet, you can still try it out on App Lab. And on number 13 is a series called I Expect You To Die. This amazing trilogy of games is completely themed like a spy story that lets you go through different mission puzzles that you can completely finish without standing up and adding in some great visuals as well as a lot of humor. It sure is a grain brain teaser. Number 14, Pistol Whip. This stylish arcade rhythm game has some sharp beat-based gameplay because in this neon lit shooter, you'll be streaming down corridors while you blast bad guys on some awesome tunes. But where you will also have to avoid incoming fire and trying to rack up the best score. And with its millions of expansions that you can add into it, it sometimes makes you feel like John Wick himself. Number 15, Resident Evil 4 VR. This is another example of a triple A game that is ported near perfectly to virtual reality. And while some elements of this version might not hold up as well, like its virtual cutscenes, it is the amazing gameplay that you probably already know that makes this so entertaining, making it one of the best ways to revisit this classic. And even for those who have never played it before. Number 16, Gorilla Tech. This game absolutely blew up. From the moment it was released on App Lab to when it finally came on the MetaQuest store, it has a huge following of people that just adore it. And with its simple setup, where you embody a gorilla in a big game of tag and where you can use your hands and arms to climb for survival, it is just great to see how many people can enjoy a title, even although the graphics are nothing to write home about. And that shows once again that the experience is even more important than what the visuals look like. But on number 17, we have a township tale. If you want to journey across a vast medieval fantasy world filled with a bunch of mysteries and ancient secrets, then a township tale is definitely your best pick. Here, you can choose to become whatever you want, from a warrior to even a blacksmith or a crafter, so that you can create your own story in this gorgeous world. And with adding in the multiplayer mode, you can also band with your friends to explore the world and go on adventures together. Number 18. Into the Radius. This is a single player survival shooter that drops you into a surreal landscape with some big dangers lurking around every single corner. So while you are scavenging for loot and defending yourself with some realistic firearms, you will also be tasked with uncovering the mysteries of this unforgiven dystopian environment. And thanks to its twisted story, as well as realistic gameplay, it became a big favorite of many VR users. Number 19, Space Salvage. Here, you'll become a space pilot and embark on a thrilling interstellar adventure where you dive into the broad cosmos while being in charge of your own space pod where you will have to earn credits as you skillfully complete tasks to either upgrade or customize your pod to your liking, which can let you blast through mines with your lasers, as well as engage in combat with some angry drones, or any other way that you see fit to outsmart your competition. And all of this, or you get some guidance from your computer, which often has a lot of enthusiasm, mixed with some moral questionable point of view. Number 20. Walkabout Mini Golf. This is one of those sports games that works so well inside VR. And while I firstly didn't expect to enjoy it this much, it is just an absolute blast to play. With its many different maps, as well as many Easter eggs like golf balls that you can find throughout the course, it is a very simple yet compelling experience that will sometimes even pull off things that are not possible in real life. And number 21, we have Superhot. Probably one of the most iconic titles on this list. Superhot has been
been around for a very long time. And with its concept being that time moves only when you move, it definitely isn't as simple as you might think at first. Because you will have to dodge bullets like you are in a matrix yourself while planning out every single step you take to finish the levels. And that's why this one is also highly recommended for anyone who is new to VR since it is very easy to pick up and doesn't require a strong stomach. Also, if you've made it into the video so far, then punching that like button would be highly appreciated. And number 22 is The Climb 2. This sequel to an already great game lets you skill up against buildings as well as insane natural mountains where you have to make sure to not fall down. And if you're already a big fan of bouldering or climbing in general, then I'm sure you will feel right at home in this stunning looking VR game. At number 23 is Rec Room. This is another great free to play game where you can customize nearly anything yourself from your own personal avatars to the many different experiences and rooms that you can visit. But luckily the developers also made some first party worlds so you're not just stuck with whatever others create. Although do keep in mind that a lot of the younger audience can often be found inside of here. So if that is not what you want, then VRChat will probably still be your best bet. Number 24, Dungeons of Eternity. If you have some friends who also own a MetaQuest VR headset, then this is probably one of the best co-op experiences that you can get right now. Although it also supports solo mode, you can join with up to three other players to work together and defeat some strong enemies. Because in this game, you will be exploring randomly generated dungeons and fight using swords, bows, magic, as well as throwing axes. And while there's plenty of gear to go around, you'll be unlocking new things throughout your playthrough, making it super replayable for a long time, especially if you and your friends are up for a challenge. Number 25. Ghostbusters Rise of the Ghost Lord. Another big franchise to make its way on the Quest 3 lets you hunt down some poltergeists as well as fight against the Ghost Lord himself. But what held a lot of people back was the high price point of this game. So although it might definitely be worth your time, maybe the other ones on this list might be more worthy of your cash. But before we get to the next 25 must play Quest 3 games, a quick word from the company that made this video possible. If you feel like your screen in VR is too blurry or if you sometimes wish that your graphics look just a bit sharper, then you might want to check out the lenses from the company named VR Wave. Especially if you're also wearing glasses or contacts in real life because they make lenses for VR headsets like the Quest 2 that you can just click in and directly start using, taking your VR experience quickly to the next level. They even make them for the new and upcoming headsets like the Quest 3 and the PlayStation VR 2. And you can use the code Frality for a 5% discount on your total purchase. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description below. And with that said, let's get right back into it. And on number 26, we have Bone Lab. Being the direct successor of the PC VR version called Boneworks, their standalone sequel called Bone Lab was still one of the most hyped VR games of all time. And with its great physics gameplay, as well as gorgeous visuals, the only problem that a lot of users had is that the campaign mode was just too short. And although there are many extra sandbox options, this is something you have to keep in mind when jumping into this title. But if all the extra mods or many different game modes is exactly what you're looking for, then I'm sure that Bone Lab will be one of your favorite VR games. 27. Green Hell VR. This title was originally only meant for consoles, but with its port to VR, many users fell in love with it all over again. Although, something to keep in mind is that there are two different versions of it. One being the full campaign for PC, and the other one being a more streamlined and shorter version specifically for standalone VR headsets. So depending on what you're looking for, make sure to check this out beforehand. But either way, this is an amazing survival experience that truly comes to life in virtual reality. Because instead of just clicking on a button, you have to truly craft your own weapons and supplies yourself. And number 28 is Beat Saber. You have most probably already seen this game many times before, and likely you even played it yourself. Here, you'll be smashing blocks on the rhythm of some popular songs while making sure you don't hit the bombs or walls at the same time. And while you will feel like an absolute legend playing it, it might look quite goofy towards others. But overall, it is a great VR title, with the only set downturn that most of its DLC packages are quite expensive. And while you could get in some mods, it does prevent you from getting the most recent updates. But that gets us to probably the best VR game ever made, and that is Half-Life Alex. 
Firstly, keep in mind that this is for PC VR only, although you can still play it on your Quest 3. If you hook it up with a buff gaming PC, it is definitely worth it, because this is exactly the game that made me fall in love with VR all over again. With its intuitive interactions, highly realistic responses, and absolute amazing quality and story, this game just has it all. And I think it might still be a very long time till we get other VR games that can truly compare to it. So hopefully, maybe Valve will one day make a sequel. And on 34, we have No Man's Sky. This is just like Half-Life Alex before, a PC VR title only. But while there are still ways to play it on your Quest 3, it will definitely require a lot of your own time. Because here you'll be exploring the vast universe of all the billions of different planets with each its own unique features and wildlife. And thanks to the big dedication of the people behind it, they have fixed all its problems and added in some amazing updates over the years, since it had a really rough start to say the least. But getting back to the standalone Quest 3 games that do not require a PC is number 35, Hellsweepers. Definitely one of the more hardcore titles on this list. Here you'll be traversing dimensions while wielding weapons with deadly precision. But you will also have some awesome power like telekinesis to wipe out these twisted enemies. And with its unique combat variations, its difficulty can be quite a shock. But for a more relaxed experience, we have number 36 called Moss. And with its great sequel called Moss Book 2, this VR game takes a very different kind of approach. Because instead of looking through the eyes of your character itself, in Moss, you'll be looking from a third-person perspective at this adorable mouse named Quill. And through its breathtaking story, you will be partnering up and defeating enemies while trying to unlock the mysteries and puzzles that come your way. But if you want some more heavy combat, then you have number 37 called Gorn. This is Gladiators Gone Rogue, where you will be throwing weapons and fighting inside the pits for your own survival. With a load of different types of enemies, as well as the many ways of how you can defend and attack them, it is up to you to see how far you can come. Number 38. After the Fall. Set in the alternative 1980s, in After the Fall, you'll be fighting with your friends against various types of monsters, which are also known as the Snow Breed. And with the amazing, desolate, ice covered ruins of Los Angeles as your playground, you'll be engaging in some heart pounding combat. And it has its main focus on its co op mode, because here you can join with up to four players and strategize your survival together. And number 39 is Big Screen VR. This might not directly be a game, but it does unlock one of the biggest potentials that your Quest 3 has. From watching movies like Netflix or Disney+, Plus to even playing flat screen games inside virtual reality. And once again, this amazing app is completely free of charge, making it one of the must downloads that any Quest 3 user needs. Number 40 in depth Unchained. Roguelike games just seem to work so well on this VR headset, especially for those people who don't like to immerse themselves for too long at once. Because these type of games you can just charge up, start playing without having to dedicate half your lifetime to it. And in depth Unchained offers a satisfying archery based combat in some quite horrifying environments, which will definitely make you question your bow and arrow skills. 41. Richie's Plank. This is the title that made VR feels popular because it is so simple yet perfect experience to make people try VR for the very first time. Because they will be faced with the opening of an elevator where they will have to walk onto a plank that is very high up into the sky. With the result that often people fall or jump off straight into their furniture. But although they did add in some other environments, I still think your money is probably spent better on an actual solid VR game. And 42 is The Room VR. This is for those who love escape rooms, because in the room VR, you are locked up until you solve the mysteries. With some of its puzzles going even to the unnatural, you will sometimes have to literally think outside of the box to find the best clues or the actual solutions. 43. Until You Fall. This is a combination of fast melee combat inside wonderful, vibrant environments, where it has you dual wielding weapons of your choice while hack and slashing your way through this intense roguelike, and where each single challenge can give you a game over very quickly, you will find yourself starting over and over again until you finally manage to pull it off. And 44 is Among Us VR. Based on the popular game, Among Us VR keeps its core concept and translates it into a virtual environment. But they actually put a lot of effort into its creation, from the different tasks as well as the maps being built completely from the ground up. And while the original hype might have slowly died down, it is still so fun to play with other people. Number 45 
Swordsman. This is a hidden gem that is not often talked about, with Swordsman being a physics-based medieval combat game featuring many different styles as well as epic boss fights and powerful weapons. But adding in some RPG elements like player progression, a blacksmith, as well as a skill master, I'm always surprised why not more people talk about this. And number 46 is Job Simulator. If you want to kick back and just have some fun by doing the most ridiculous things, then Job Simulator is exactly the game for you. With its hilarious interactions, you will have to try to take your job as seriously as possible. And 47, we have Creed Rise to Glory. This is probably one of the best boxing VR games that are available, where you as the aspiring boxing champion will be training under none other than Rocky Balboa while you fight familiar and unexpected contenders across some dynamic arenas with your goal of becoming the ultimate champion. Do make sure though that your house is clear of any furniture around you and that you have your controllers attached to your wrists. And 48, we have Breachers. This takes a very unique spin to these shooter platforms because while you're still fighting with one team against the other, each of them have their own individual goals and abilities to achieve those. But what stands out to me the most is its absolutely stunning realistic visuals and its crazy update support from the developers. But that gets us to 49, which is the Fader Immortal series. If you are a Star Wars fan, or even if you're not, you just have to play the Vader Immortal series. Because watching someone fight with lightsabers or actually becoming a Jedi yourself are a complete different thing. And while each part always felt a bit too short, it was because of the amazing experience itself that you just don't keep track of time. But last but not least, we have number 50, which is Asgard's Wrath 2. This is the golden goose that Meta is trying to push very hard, with some people even getting it included with their Quest 3 headsets, as well as others trying it out because they played the previous title. But Asgard's Wrath 2 will be on a whole other skill, making it one of the biggest and most epic RPGs to be ever made in virtual reality. And while the original Asgard's Wrath was only playable on PC, they made this new sequel specifically optimized for the Meta Quest 3 headset. But that's not all, because there are also some must-play games that are completely free on your VR headset. So check out the video you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out.